This is a tutorial to show you how to use the external sidechain in Wolf Compressor within Ableton. So I have a MIDI track set up here, which I call the Wolf Compressor track. And in this track, I have a MIDI instrument, some audio effects, and then the Wolf Compressor. Um, nothing's coming into the external sidechain right now, but I pulled the slider up to 100% so that once we have everything hooked up properly, the results will be really obvious. So right now, this sounds like this. Okay, and then in my next track, which I call the sidechain trigger track, I have all the audio here that I want to actually trigger the sidechain compression. And so I have some MIDI notes, which are just kicks uh, happening at various points in time. It sounds like this. Okay, so what we want is to get this sidechain trigger audio to feed into the external sidechain channel of Wolf Compressor. So to do that, we are going to add a new track. I'm going to call this the audio signal routing track. And we want to take in audio from the sidechain trigger and feed it into this Wolf Compressor track and specifically into the external sidechain. So first we want to make sure that within the audio signal routing track, our ins and outs are showing. So if this here is not showing, then you can click this IO button. And so for the audio inputs, we're gonna set this to the sidechain trigger track. And we wanna make sure we're monitoring what is coming in. So we click this in button right there. And we want to send this to the Wolf compressor track. And you'll see the sidechain channel changed right here. So if everything's hooked up properly, we should hear the sidechain trigger affecting the compression in this Wolf Compressor track. So. And we can actually confirm that by looking here and listening through here. So we're gonna do that now. Now, if we don't want to actually hear the sidechain trigger occurring, we can get rid of this audio signal routing track altogether. So I'm gonna delete it, and then just set up the outputs right here within our sidechain trigger track. So instead of sending the sidechain trigger to master, we send it to the Wolf Compressor track, and it'll automatically get sent to that sidechain channel. And so it sounds like this. So that's really useful if you have some kind of other beat in the background. Um, and that's it.